Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from HTL. Um, back at you with a request to do a video on the module for the Mark II from Rolly Automation. And uh, basically what we're going to focus on today is taking the fan off when you're cleaning it and um, paying attention to how the wires go back in so you're not pinching the wires, tightening the screws down, and then potentially cutting the wire, therefore causing a failure in the fan therefore causing overheating in the module, therefore causing a module failure. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Okay guys, uh, here we go. 30 watt module. So we're going to take the kit off here. As you can see, this one's, <laughs> this one is old and beat up and this is like the first 3D printed one that I've done and I'm still using it. So it's been since January that I did all that. So here we are. All right. So now I don't, how am I going to get this? I got to hold on a second. All right, guys, this is the best shot that I can give you for doing this. So there's the fan, and here's the wires. Let's see how dirty this is after eight months. It's got some, it's got some buildup in it, but it isn't, it isn't wet, sludgy, gunky. It's just dust, and uh, I mean you can just wipe it right off. So I'm gonna blow this out with the air compressor. But okay, so here's the plug right down in here. This is where. This is where the wires come apart. Try to get this in focus right there. So right here's the plug. Normally when you take this off, so the sticker right here is gonna go down because the wires are underneath. And then there's this little groove right here and some of these wires have gotten moved. Where's my, where's my, uh... Okay. Another thing, nice thing to have is, is, a, is a nice pair of tweezers where you can get in and move some things around. So, typically, what you're going to want to see are those wires moved right there into that slot. So when you come on focus when you get this in you just place these fan wires right back into that slot right there and then while holding it you just place it on there you will definitely be able to tell if your wires are in the way or not doing anything because you're going to have a small gap in there uh you know and that's not good don't do that don't don't force it in there so you want to take these wires, tuck them in, and I'm holding it down, and I'm just kind of weeding it over. Oh, see? That one came out. I felt it right there. Perfect. All right. So once you're done cleaning and you're putting this back, just make sure you tuck the wires in. Now, to take the wires out, if you have to, just a very gentle... Oh, you know what? I'm going to recommend a different kind of tweezer. And I will put these, uh, I will put a link to these um, in the description. A friend of ours, Geo, put me onto these and I am in love with them. They are super hard, super stiff, pointy like a needle. They, they're sharp, but they get right down inside there on both sides. And there you go. Yeah. Nice. Now that that's off. Now I have a nice Allen wrench set, but I'm using the uh, Allen wrenches that come with the with the Roly kit when you buy it, just because of this video that I'm doing. All right. I'll get these screws off. I'll be right back. Okay, so we have 
that off. This is not too bad down in here. If you look in this side here, there's no dust in here. Um, looking down through, I don't really know if you can see that with the light that I have. But the dirt, um, the, the film of dirt is literally only, it's literally about this far down. That's all it goes and it's not even that thick. I'm going to go take this and blow this out with the air compressor real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely see in there, there is no buildup uh, of any sludge or gunk or anything on them, on them fins, which is going to allow this thing to cool. And that is all part and partial to this filter kit. Links will be in the description. So also links in the description are going to be for these. Can you see that? pride lens cleaning and screen wipes and uh, i will put a link to these let me get one out these long swabs with the little stick to easy to hang on to so let's uh let's open up this uh alcohol wipe here some of you guys use pure some of you guys use these some of you guys have a different way of doing this this is just uh, what I have chosen to do because I wear glasses and I use these to clean my glasses in the shop all the time. So, as per, oops, actually, as per LA Hobby Guy, Rich, uh, let's do this. Perfect. Now, flat blade screwdriver or tool of your choice. I found these little stainless steel rulers that have millimeter and inches on them. They got the flat end. They got a round end, six inches long. Get them at Ace Hardware, a couple of bucks. And uh, I just put it in the slot right there. And I turn it. That's what I use. Inner lens looks very clean. Inspecting this one. That looks clean. But because I'm doing this for the video, we're going to change the lens. And I will put that one in here with the other one. Okay. They come perfectly packaged in little plastic baggies perched in this foam. Pulling this out of here like that. Screw the new lens on. Now these lenses fit 20 watt and 30 watt modules of the Mark II. I think it's different on the 20 watt conversion of the Mark I. I'm not sure. I think that's what I read on the website. Don't quote me on that. Don't hold me to it. Okay. New lens installed. And after eight hours, 10 hours of running, all the dust that I have, I don't even know you can see that little bit of dust right here. Yeah, I know. I'm holding it over my lens. I, I know. You can scream at me in the comments. Um, yeah, that's it. It's clean enough. Yeah, the O-ring is inside there still. Keep everything nice and clean. And we'll put all this back together. I'll be back when it's back in the box. And uh, we're... Uh, we're reattaching this thing. All right, so this lens here, I'm uh, I'm gonna put back in this bag. Now, there we go. Just right on there that it was changed. I'm gonna put that on that little plastic baggie, and I'm gonna put it back in this box so it stays safe. Back in the box. All right, so I'm just taking this Allen wrench and I am perpendicularly just kind of 
seeing if there's anything in there that's willing to come loose. A little bit more, not much. There's not there's not a lot on here, guys. Okay, I think I'm done with it. I'm not going to touch it anymore. Clean enough. Roll this back up. Keep this crap from getting on my desk too hard. All right. Now, back to reality. Isn't that what they say? This is always the hard part for me, especially when I'm trying to do it on camera. So I'm going to try to plug this in on camera for you, but I don't, I'm not going to promise that it's going to work. I'm not even sure I got this in the right orientation. We'll see in a second here. I think I did. Oh, that was easy. Okay, the test will be, if I got it plugged in right, if it blows up or if it blows down. All right. So, tuck that into this little slot right here. Curl it around. Slide it into place. Check to see if there's any resistance. Feels good. Put the plate back on. If you have the filter kit, put the filter kit back on. If you do not, get one. The STL is available on the website. I will put a link to that as well. Just in case you guys have a printer and you want to print your own. And then uh, I sell the, the filters by the 8-pack for whatever one you're printing. Okay. It is back together. It is assembled. The wires are not pinched, but... All right, so the final test, we'll be plugging it in and seeing if it works when I turn it on. So let's do that. Just like that. Filter is in. Put the tube on for the air assist. Plug this in. And... Putting my hand underneath, right here, and we have air blowing. All right, guys, so there you go. That is cleaning the lens. I changed the lens. Um, we took a look at the filter. We took a look at the uh, inside of the fan module. We took inside the actual module to see how clean it was with the filter kit being on it for so long. And uh, we figured out where the wires go, how to curl them around so you're not pinching and cutting the wires when you put the fan back on. And uh, I appreciate you stopping by. Big shout out to Leo for uh, having me do this video for you guys. They're going to do one with a little bit better production, uh, obviously. And uh, they've, they've probably got some better cameras than I do. And they're going to have a, an actual bench to be able to put things on and get better, get better angles of it. But I tried to do the best I could. So leave a comment, like, subscribe. And uh, like I said, there will be links down in the description for... The tools that I used, the tweezers, the swabs, the alcohol wipes. Yeah, I think it's all I used. So, cool. All right, see you guys.